If you are here because you believe there's a crisis of disappearing men, believe I am my own man, not to be confused with no man. Here is what I define as the seven keys to masculinity. Key one, eviscerate the adolescent mindset. The truth and reality is every man has been trained. And if you're from where I'm from, South Bronx Projects in the 80s, there is that. Now, this is no indictment on anyone or presumption of right or wrong. This is merely a vital component and a cultural and societal truth. You were introduced to the game of masculinity through your environmental components, inclusive of your literal surroundings and the family or lack of family assigned to you. Failure of you to become aware of this defaults you into social unconscious programming and subsequently the drift towards material masculine masks. Consider this. As we are introduced into the world, we look for behavior to mimic. It's part of our code and process of, of understanding how to eventually operate independently in life. Part of what gets us stuck on stupid is that we're a mimic of a masculine gimmick. Eviscerating of the adolescent mindset is the acceptance that you are, of course, physically growing older, but you have the same mentality as you did during adolescence, and therefore, you succumb to social posturing, something to the effect of pounding your chest like a gorilla when you're angry or trying to prove a point, sloshing down beers and alcohol like some hot dog eating contest, thinking it puts maybe more hair on your chest, fantasy football, and other highlight reel images that prove you are a macho, macho man. It's almost like always walking around with your hand in the pants, hand in your pants, all the while never truly understanding who you are and why you do what you do. You must eviscerate all that you think you know about being a masculine man. Do not mimic the gimmick. Key two, the battle of the shadow. The image of the shadow gets a bad rap because everything perceived to be dark appears frightening. But have you ever stopped to wonder how a shadow in any form is produced? And that's right. All shadow, without exception, requires light to form. In short, our shadows are perceived deficiencies, and men hate to think they're deficient, typically created by suppressed traits and past experiences that we might deem unacceptable for ourselves, making it make a little more sense. The harsh, the harsh truth to your life is only you know how much you've lied to yourself. And the further you go into lies, the more suppressed your truth becomes, and therefore, the darker the shadow. Further exacerbating this is your programming to continue your adolescent habits, thereby ignoring your innate traits. More on that later. Your shadow battle is the key to starting the unlocking of all your potential. This is the self-confession key, for no masculine man ignores anything about himself, no matter how dark. Key three, build boundaries. And this becomes harder than you think, but everything isn't a joke. Everything isn't funny. Everyone isn't a friend. Everyone shouldn't be invited to your house. Everyone shouldn't know your business. Everyone shouldn't know your plans. Everyone shouldn't know your goals. Everyone shouldn't be involved. Don't tell anyone your moves. Stop people pleasing and feeling the need to constantly say yes to everything. Boundaries are, cu are crucial to masculine self evolution. Key four if you were once trained, it's now time to become self trained. And I love this from Jordan Peterson. He says, become dangerous. Now, how could dangerous be defined? at least for a man. A dangerous man is one who can fully articulate himself across multiple planes, minimum examples, knowledge, language, and physical presence. Knowledge, only an ignorant man remains voluntarily 
ignorant. Of course, the greatest knowledge, the greatest knowledge available to you is the knowledge of self, as this will provide the wisdom needed to formulate an action-oriented and purposeful existence. At minimum, keeping you on a path to doing what you said you would do. No more lies. This, or think of this as self-integrity, which is crucial to your masculinity. Language. All successful people prioritize their ability to communicate and realize this is the greatest superpower available to man. For any man who can't articulate himself through words, runs the risk, the risk of being misunderstood or even worse, ignored. Therefore, work on your communication and language skills. This is less about $10 words and, mo and more about knowing how to clearly articulate what is on your mind with an emphasis on keeping it poignant. Articulating yourself thoroughly can be summed up as knowing to say only what is needed, which also means knowing when to say less and keep quiet. For masculine men know, silence is a form of communication that you are very comfortable with. Physically, not intending to shame anyone, but beer belly dad bod is not cool. At minimum, it's not healthy. And masculine men who care about themselves are not intentionally unhealthy. Also, how exactly are you going to live a masculine purposeful life if one, you are physically killing yourself and two, you are so overweight and out of shape you lose your breath in a heated debate. This, off, this also means shit shower and shave often, put some cologne on and present yourself as someone you actually care about. Posture up and walk across the universe with a strut like you love yourself dearly. If you're from where I'm from, that bop, that bop is real. Key five, protect and provide. Every man has the innate instinct to protect, protect and provide for their family. And since every man has the potential to build a family, a man does this at the highest level by the type of environment he creates for his tribe. Yes, this includes money, house, car, and make it as lush and lavish as your heart desires. But more importantly, are you protecting the integrity of your marriage? Are you protecting the innocence of your children or exacerbating the gimmick mimic of your generation? Are you creating an environment where your family is safe to be as is? Meaning, free of fear, judgment, criticism, and labeling. To protect and provide is to foster a thriving and nurturing environment that you focus on intently and watch with a close eye. Key six, I don't know why I slapped my hands like that. Emotional integrity. A masculine man is acutely aware and masters the power of his emotions. Traditionally, this might be somewhat communicated as the following. A masculine man understands to choose courage over fear, determination over doubt, prosperity over pain. This continues across the spectrum with the final high-level analogy being doing what needs to be done even when you don't feel like doing it. But the emotional completion and integrity of a masculine man, just wait for it, is one who fully embraces and integrates his feminine qualities. Yes, I said feminine qualities. Let me explain. Carl Jung, who if you don't know, was a Swiss psychologist and psychiatrist who founded analytic psychology, presented a, philosoph a philosophical archetype that embodies this masculine and feminine integration described as the anima and animus. The anima is Latin for soul. It represents the feminine aspect of a man's unconscious. The animus is Latin for mind or spirit. It represents the masculine component, component of a woman's unconscious. Therefore, a masculine man integrates his anima or feminine unconscious into his identity. Let me be clear for those that got uncomfortable. The masculine man fully embraces his emotional warrior energy, which is necessary and likely the precursor to the mas masculine development process. But without a connection to his anima, 
a man is without a sense of meaning. She, the enema and feminine, is the mistress of his power and strength. Here's a quote from Carl Jung that exemplifies this and quite likely the image of the traditional man. Almost all of a man's sense of value, worth, safety, joy, contentment, belongingness, and happiness derive from his inner feminine nature. Men in their arrogance generally think it is their strength, possessions, and dominations that bring them happiness, but it is not so. Happiness is feminine in a man, a feeling quality, and generally mysterious to him. A man without a properly integrated anima would benefit, or a man with a properly integrated anima would benefit from the following. Self-soothing, self-nurturing, and self-loving qualities. Access to creative inspiration, a strong center, and contained inner life, capable of empathy, able to make judgments beyond the realm of pure rationality. Access to feeling life. Happy. In summary, masculine energy makes a man strong, effective, competent, and useful. But it is his inner feminine energy that inspires his strength, meaning, and value. Key seven, without me slapping hands. I am God, and therefore you are too. Acknowledging that our culture has made God want some of, somewhat of a dirty word, I choose to believe in the fundamental that God is everything, which opens me up to the possibility that, as traditionally would be said, man is made in God's image, which most importantly means God gave man the same power he has, which is to create. So we are all creators. Thusly, I am what I say I am. And as importantly, I am what I say I am not. We create our realities moment to moment with the power of thought, which provokes our emotions and thereby is expressed and ultimately revealed to us through our words. And I'll be damned if I take my God-given power and use it to create anything lesser for myself. As a man, I have an innate responsibility to my masculine characteristics and tendencies that make me a man. I have a responsibility to build a just character filled with discipline, integrity, compassion, empathy, patience, and faith. Therefore, the power of I am and the power of God is the realization that the masculinity I seek is not outside of me, rather it's already inherent in my nature, meaning I don't need to seek out to become anything, rather I merely need to remind myself who my soul already knows me to be, for I am what I say I am. A masculine man accepts his responsibilities, eviscerates any programming that doesn't suit him, is comfortable in his shadow, firm with his boundaries, self-trained and realized, protects and provides while embracing his feminine side, loving himself more and thereby fostering deeper bond and love to his creator, who I believe is God. A man creates and walks his own path. A man has full faith and belief in himself. A man does what he says he will do. A man knows his truth. A man also knows that with no challenge, there is no change. So will the real you please stand up? Change your mind, change your life. I am who I say I am. Stay rich.